Uh, all of you hope you guys are great. So let's try to understand the difference between Uniswap V2 protocol and V3 protocol. That what are the differences we have, and when it's come to building a smart contract, when it's come to building a liquidity for your ERC20 token on the Uniswap protocol, then which one is good for you? Okay. I'll try to give you the minor differences we have in both the protocol and if you guys want me to have a detailed video on any of these topics which I'm going to cover do let me know so I'll make a detailed video because the reason why I'm making this particular video because a lot of you guys are talking about that we have latest version of Uniswap so which one we should pick for our ERC20 token for our project so again it's a definitely a very valid question you should you should ask yourself when you have to launch your ERC20 token or any project or you want to create a liquid in the marketplace so you can make money so like if you talk about both the protocol like if you talk about the native token so both the protocol follow the uniswap erc20 token that that as a native token but if you talk about the liquidity formula so there is a difference there is a difference between the liquidity formula the way it's get calculated when it's come to creating a liquidity so in the v2 protocol we generally follow cpmm that means constant product market maker so this is the formula we follow like x multiplied by y is equal to k so this is the formula we have in v2 protocol on the basis of that the entire liquidity get calculated again if you want a detail and practical video on this to let me know so i'll make it that so that's the formula we have in the v2 but if you talk about the v3 in that we follow a different method we follow the concentrated liquidity where you can able to provide the liquidity of the pricing between the curve okay so this is the difference which you have to know because when you will sit for an interview and when you're going to build a like a dab and you're going to interact with any one of this protocol for building a dab where you're going to provide the exchange and all of things you have to know that how things work okay so these are the two difference we have in both the protocol in terms of liquidity formula so one it's follow the cpmm like constant product market maker and the other one is follow the concentrated liquidity okay so whenever someone will ask you that what what uh, like what formula we follow in v2 units of v2 so you can say that constant product x multiply y is equal to k okay this is the one we have and if you talk about the fee here is the uh, interesting part in v2 protocol what we have is that you can able to give one particular fee structure so if you deploy and create a liquidity you can set the fee to like 0.30 percent so this is the recommended and what they have this is what you have to use but in the v3 we have four different fee range like you can go with point like 10 percent point 30 percent like point 50 percent and total one percent so they gives you four different price ranges from which you can charge as a liquidity fee so that's the fee structure we have in both the protocol and after that we have the liquidity fungibility so here is the difference like in the v2 we can target with the fungible one but in v3 we can also deal with the non-fungible one so that's the difference you have to keep in mind like in v2 we have a fungible in v3 we have non-fungible and the last one we have is the capital efficiency so here the advantages we have in v3 so like if you look at their docs you will have the advantages in, in, the, in there but in 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 v2 we don't have that one so these are the minor difference we have in both the protocol again so what do you have to keep in mind there is a difference between the formula there is a difference between the pricing there is a difference between the liquidity fungibility and there is a difference between the capital efficiency these are the things you have to keep in mind because when you will build a dab where you're going to deal with the cryptocurrency and you're going to create an aut automated market maker then you have to know that what formula you have to use and which one is, is high have the highest advantage for your dab and create the profitability for the user that's the ultimate goal okay so i hope you guys have got an idea that what structure we have in the v2 and v3 and how we're going to calculate the pricing in both liquidity and in the other other aspects so if you guys want me to have a, a detailed video on any more of this particular topic do let me know so i can show you with the graphs and how to do the transaction so that's the only thing i will talk about in this video hope you guys have got an idea and how it's work and what are the difference we have in that with that i'm ready this video have a wonderful day bye, -bye.